What is up everybody and welcome to the next episode in getting our launch box rocket launch set up to the max and in today's episode, episode number 6, we're going to be setting up the SNES MSU-1 or the SNES CD. These are basically ROM hacks that enhance the sound uh, and, and can in and some games enhance the video. It is one of my favourite systems, some really good uh, uh, hacks that have gone off that added really good sound so I really enjoy playing this. So to get started what we need to do, there is a link in the description below, click on that link it will take you to my mega sites and you will be able to download this file here. Once you're extracted you'll end up with these folders here, okay. So now that we've got those uh, extracted and set up, what we can do is start thinking about setting this up. So we're going to take the emulators and rocket launcher folder we just extracted. We're going to copy and we're going to paste it into our install directory. I've already done that. What we're then going to do is get the SNES uh, 9X, which is the emulator we'll be using for this. It's a standalone version. You can get, use RetroArch, um, that's fine, but I tend to use this because I just prefer it. Uh, then we're going to open it up and go to import input and input configuration this is where you will configure your joypad um, what I advise you to do as well is don't forget the diagonals which are the bottom four here um, and basically set that up I've already done it in terms of the video go to display configuration this is totally up to you uh, the output image processing is totally up to you how you do it so um, you can have a little play around that depending on your system. I just also reduce input lag, um, just makes it uh, a bit more responsive. Okay, then what we're going to do is I've already got some pre made uh, ROMs. They look something like that. So that's the actual ROM. The rest is the hack, if you like. Now, to find out where to get the hacks, you can go to this website. I'll put a description in the uh, sorry, link in the description below. You'll be able to uh, peruse this at your leisure. Um, they don't come with the ROMs. You can get the ROMs from anywhere. They're just normal standard SNES ROMs. Um, and you can add the files to it. And these are detailed tutorials on how to do that on this website here. So once you've got your ROMs together, I would zip them up. I always zip mine up. Um, it just makes it easier for rocket launcher. Um, but as you can see, I've got 23 of them. So what I'm going to do is just take my install directory. I go in there, go into Launchbox, Games and i'm just going to drag and drop them in there like so okay then i'm going to go back to my emulate i'm going to go to file i think settings is where i'm going so i've gone to emulation show you that again settings and i'm just going to set that as my uh game directory within the emulator so we're going to games launch box games not Sega Mega Drive or Genesis rather and that's SNES MSU one okay there we go we're going to click OK okay so now we set the emulator up what we're going to do is we're going to set uh, this up into launch box we'll close the emulator out we'll close all these edits as well and um, we're going to go to our launch box open it up Go to the menu, tools, import ROM files, click next, add files, SNES MSU, and we're just going to control A all those. So that's added those. Then we're going to name this. I'm just more curious whether they've added this as a default platform. Uh, not that I can see. We're going to call it SNES. MSU1, I think, just bear with me. Uh, minus one, let me just check that's right. Yep, uh, it's a dash one. Okay, we're going to scrape it as a Super Nintendo because it is a Super Nintendo uh, just with enhanced uh, sound and graphics. Okay, Rocket Launch is going to be the emulator that we'll use. Okay, we're going to use the files in the current location click next okay um, you can do the box 3d that's fine clear logo select what you want to download if you've got emu movies you can add your login details here and drag extra media across uh, we'll leave that as default and the custom options let this do its parsing 
Okay, so that's going to take a minute to import. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished. Okay, so welcome back. As you can see, that's imported those games for me. There is a lot more artwork and stuff on the Launchbox forums. Um, uh, 3D uh, boxes and 2D box fronts, etc. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description there so you can go uh, and have a look and peruse um, and apply the ones that are for your game. So what we need to do now we've imported them is to set up rocket launcher. So we're going to go to our install directory, rocket launcher, rocket launcher UI and open up the exe. Give it a second to boot up. Okay. Now what we're going to do is making sure that we're on global is we're going to add the emulator. So we'll call it uh, SNES MSU-1. Path is going to be where our emulator is. So it's this uh, SNES 9X EXE. ROM extensions are going to be ZIP and SFC, I think. And the module is the SNES 9X wherever it is there we go we're going to save that okay so now we've got that set up there we're going to have to set it up here so we're going to click on the uh, on the left hand side to make sure that we select snes msu i'm going to go to launch box games to no navigate to where the roms are in the rom paths so it's launch box games snes msu1 and the default emulator is SNES MSU1 uh, there. If it's not showing, nothing's showing here, make sure on the rocket launcher tab, the right last tab here, make sure this valid emulators module uh, um, only is unticked. Um, and then it should be there for you. There we go, so I've got a selection of all of them. So once we've done that, we're gonna go to settings and where it says skip checks at the bottom right here, we'll just do ROM and EMU, I think. Okay, uh, now it's not got the module there, so we're just going to refresh the module. There we go. Then it comes in, and we're going to edit global module settings. Main, uh, make sure that full screen is set to true and maintain aspect ratio is set to true. Then we're going to go to games. We want to see if anything boots up. Uh, what shall we try? Oh, I don't know what to try. Let's try F0. We're just going to see if it boots up. that out so this uh, that F0 there is um, basically uh, it's got a rock version of the the soundtrack an arranged version if you like so we've set that up now in our rocket launcher all that's left for us to do is to test whether it's working here uh, so what we can do uh, show F0 again There we go, and it's launching from Launchbox. And it's launching from Launchbox there. So that's working. I'm happy with that. Uh, one thing I did want to just uh, mention is that in the settings here uh, on Rocket Launcher, so in settings, main settings, because they're zipped, make sure that this is enabled 7-zip, so it unzips them, okay? Um, and it will go to wherever your temporary folder is select set up here you can just basically navigate by clicking on the magnifying glass and set it to any folder so uh, that's where it'll extract to okay so uh, that is it I think we've got the SNES MSU one set up as I said before this is one of my favorite systems um, some real uh, good hacks going on um, to add really good arranged music music taken from film versions so Star Wars uses its actual film uh, orchestral uh, version rather than the SNES uh, chip tune almost version um, and as I say it's a fantastic little platform uh, to get on with so I'm gonna leave that with you 
Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. If you really, really like this video, you can donate to me. There is a PayPal button on the top banner of my main page. Or there is a link in the description right at the bottom. There's a PayPal me link there. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.